let's take a look at how the overall market fared for the day on the NSE 20, 4,955 points. Once again, a day in positive territory, up by three quarters of a percent. And earlier I said Diamond Trust Bank rising to a record after those first quarter numbers. And also a stronger performance today coming through from Kennel Coble, um, gaining the most in more than eight months today. That's all around the 20% decline that we have seen from uh, the company. It's East Africa's largest fuel retailer and many saying this was slightly overdone. So certainly a jump up. On the currency front, the shilling 83.8 against the dollar. It has started to tick up ever so slightly, uh, but certainly has uh, not depreciated by any large amount in the past few days. On that note, let's cross over to Nairobi. We've got Rufus Mwanyasi, Portfolio Manager at k Capital, standing by from our studios on that end. Uh, Rufus, thanks very much for joining us today. So just looking at uh, Diamond Trust today, the stock uh, rising on the back of those numbers. First quarter profit there jumping 31%. Um, but it is certainly interesting how they're pointing out that the 24% growth in their overall loan book has been offsetting uh, the fact that you have seen interest rates come back. Um, and that's going to be an interesting strategy to watch. I mean, to what extent uh, banks start becoming a lot more aggressive when it comes to extending loans in order to make up for the loss when it comes to overall interest margins? Yeah, I think uh, perhaps that's the trend we are going to see uh, going forward. Um, on the basis that uh, you know the first quarter was very um, uh, dicey for most banks since uh, you know we are entering the year with, uh, with a double digit uh, key lending rate or the uh, key central bank rate and now it's, it's been reduced by about 20 percent um, and, 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 and just specifically for that bank I think it's one of the most aggressive because uh, looking at its uh, uh, loan book growth uh, for the first three months uh, compared to the previous three months of last year a growth of about 25 percent compared to you know to its peers that grew you know their loan book by about 10 to 15 percent so i guess the bank is pretty aggressive mm -hmm. uh, so i think going forward th that's the trend we're likely going to see as the rates uh, continue to come down mm -hmm. i mean just looking at uh, this bank it's also an east african player uganda tanzania burundi is where they're based still small mm -hmm. parts of the business um do you think that uh, you're going to start seeing some strong contribution to bottom line earnings coming through mm -hmm. from these subsidiaries Yes, for sure. Uh, since uh, uh, for that particular bank, um, uh, their subsidiaries in the region contribute almost 25 percent to its rev uh, to its uh, uh, revenue, and and and, and I think uh, we're likely seeing more and more uh, growth on that end. Um, since uh, as of last year, we saw it increase their shareholding in some of the two subsidiaries in Uganda and, T and, and uh, in Tanzania. They increased their shareholding to about 55 percent on average. So I think going forward, we're likely to see most uh, strong growth on that and coming um, uh, um, in terms of just uh, you know increasing their profits contributing from coming from uh, those two subsidiaries but again uh, I also like to emphasize on the fact mm. that they've been also pretty aggressive uh, just you know increasing their branches within the country itself that as well is going to um, uh, impact positively uh, on their bottom line. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just looks like they've got expenses under control. If you look at uh, the increase in overall expenses during the period, and even staff costs aren't mm -hmm. uh, runaway right now. Um, but they are aggressive, as you say, relative to the other banks when it comes to extending loans. The pro provisioning this time around slightly lower than the previous period, 110 million shillings. Is that something you're watching mm -hmm. with a bank like this? Does that concern you at all? Um, well, uh, I, I think for any bank uh, and in, in the industry, if we are seeing uh, cost to income ratios below 50%, uh, that's very good. Um, uh, and for, for Diamond Trust with a cost to income ratio of above 47%, that's, it's doing much better than compared to other uh, you know, um, banks like Equity, which is about 56%, Cooperative Bank, which is about 53%, uh, KCB Bank, which is about uh, you know, 63%. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the peers it's doing much better uh, in terms of just you know keeping a, 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 a putting a lead on their costs but, but I mean sorry just coming back to the provisioning issue because the provisioning uh, of course looking at uh, mm -hmm. the likelihood of them turning into bad debts and uh, looking at non-performing loans net non-performing loans uh -huh. that more than doubling mm -hmm. this time around 143.9 million shillings 144 million shillings mm -hmm. um, it's it more than doubled is what I'm saying. Is that, uh, is that a worry or do you think that the growth that they are getting through is more than offsetting that? Well, um, 
again, I would like to look at, uh, at that particular aspect in view of what the industry uh, is doing. And, and for Diamond Trust, uh, particularly when you look at um, the gross uh, uh, non-performing loans um, compared to their, you know, to their total loan book, it's about 1.3% uh, compared to other banks that you know, the like KCB, which has um, on, on that particular ratio, it has has eight percent with Equity Bank, which is about five percent. So I think they have really done well in terms of just keeping a very good quality uh, loan book. Yeah. And just uh, staying in the banking space today, because the best performing banking stock over the past 12 months has certainly been NIC Bank. And you've got uh, James Bacharia, who's now been appointed as Kenya's new health minister. So he steps away as the company's yes. uh, managing director. What do you make of the new appointment um, of Alan Dodd? I think uh, the, 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 the appointment of uh, Mr. Dodd has been well received uh, since he's coming from uh, within the company ranks itself. So I guess um, he's going to take the vision forward. Uh, he's, he's well vast of how the business runs, uh, of how the business is, 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 is run. Uh, being an insider, I don't think he's going to have much of a challenge in taking the business forward. And uh, just lastly, on the retail front, Chumi coming out. Um, and uh, when it comes to the stock, it has been steady around 2050 today. But uh, coming out of that uh, announcement of that rights issue, setting that at 2 billion shillings, uh, very aggressive if you look at them planning to list across East Africa right now. And of course, 13 more stores they want to add to uh, their store list. I mean, what, what are your thoughts on the likelihood that they'll reach this target of 2 billion? Well, I, I, I think. Um uh, in terms of timing, I'd I, I like to say it's, uh, it, it's good timing because uh, there's a lot of uh, liquidity around in the marketplace. So I think uh, in timing, I think it's the best time to come and ask for more money. Uh, but I think what we, the market will, will want to do right now is to uh, a bit interrogate and investigate uh, the investment plan that they're putting on the table of what it wants to really do and the kind of uh, investment return we're likely to get on this investment plan that they, they plan to, to, to use to, 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 to expand. Um, going forward, I think uh, when you look at that particular stock, is pretty strong. Um, when you look at all uh, the agricultural sectors, one of the best performing stocks year to date. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the market is going to be, uh, you know, uh, watching on that stock and, uh, and, and eventually how the, the rights issue uh, pans out. Yeah.